hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're doing great on this particular day or night or evening or morning anyway we have already started doing our makeup and we're starting off with our eyebrows as usual and first of all i just go in with a spoolie and i comb them up and then afterwards i normally fill them in with a black pencil you can use a brown pencil depending on your skin tone but i prefer a black one because my eyebrows are just not visible they're just not there and then i normally go in with an eyebrow gel and i normally use a rimmel eyebrow gel that is clear i normally just brush them up to hold them in place and then i go in with an illegal pro conceal concealer and the shade that i normally use is fawn so i normally apply that all around the eyebrows so that my eyebrows can be more visible against my skin tone and then now we are going in with this maybelline fit me concealer and we're just going to use it as an eyeshadow primer so we just dab in that uh, fit me concealer using a brush make sure you dab in don't swipe because it can create lines when you swipe just dab it in and then for the eyeshadow itself which is the main thing that we are doing today which is the gold and yellow uh, gold and it's sort of gold yellowish blue um, eyeshadow we're starting off with the blue because blue is a darker color than yellow or gold and we're just going to apply it in the crease of our eye so we're just blending it out and make sure that you thoroughly blend it out and then now we're going to do a cut crease because i feel like these colors just deserve a cut crease i don't know how i'm gonna blend them without a cut crease so we are just using the nyx concealer for the cut crease i'm telling you that nyx concealer can cover even your sins as in if you have marks that were caused by sinning that concealer will cover them up but nobody should be offended with that comment it's just for fun yeah don't take it too seriously it's just on a light note basically the concealer is so so full coverage it's thick as you guys have seen i've not even removed the eyeshadow before applying that concealer i just applied it on top of the eyeshadow that was there and then um yeah we've just applied a little bit of the blue again outside of the 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 cut crease and then in the inner part of the cut crease we are applying a yellow just a bright mustard yellow i know it doesn't look very mustard on the screen but it's just a really really bright mustard yellow and then we're also going to drag that yellow to the lower lash line and then now we are applying some glitter glue that's glitter glue so we are just applying it on top of the yellow only because i'm not going to apply glitter on the blue and then after that we are going to go in with these yellow glitters that are from the makeup revolution no i heart revolution palette and we are have just dabbed the yellow glitters basically on top of that yellow and then for eyeliner i went in first with a yellow uh, a white why am i speaking yellow so much it's not yellow it's a white eyeliner and then afterwards we're going to do a black liquid liner at the top and as you can see i also brought in the black in the inner corner of the eye and i did a really really thick 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 one in the inner corner of my eye and then um i've just cleaned the area as you guys saw with like a cotton bud and some micellar water just to clean any excess eyeshadow and then now for this part this is skin prepping our skin so that all the good stuff can enter our pores before we apply our makeup now this helps prevent breakouts if you normally break out from using uh, makeup just know that you don't prepare your skin well so i've just applied hyaluronic acid first and then now i'm going to go in with my makeup primer which is by makeup revolution that is their pore and blur primer really nice formula it feels so good against the skin and it literally makes you smooth as you guys can see and then now i'm just going to go in with a more concealer and i'm just going to conceal the dark spots that are around my face because i feel like yeah it's it's a really good step to do this so i've just applied a little bit of concealer and i'm just going to dab in with a brush anywhere that i feel you know has a lot of discoloration more than my face so i'm just going to dab 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 in with a brush i believe now our skin is perfectly ready for foundation and the foundation we're going to use we're going to mix two foundations the first one being the revlon photo 
candid foundation and that's the shade 510 which is kind of light for my skin but this foundation is going to expire so i have to use it and i'm just going to mix it in with the clinique even better foundation and that's the shade pecan which is too red for me so i think this mix will not be that badly off and after all it matches the neck the skin around my neck i do have hyperpigmentation in my face so my skin face never matches my neck face but it's okay anyway so we are basically applying that foundation after mixing it with a beauty blender a damp one because that produces such a good application compared to just going in with a brush or just a dry beauty blender and then next we are going to take the nyx uh, concealer that i said covers everything that concealer is so good i i'd say for uh, an affordable concealer it's really 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 good yes i did use as you guys if you follow me on this channel you know that my concealers are extremely light for me but it's because i buy my stuff online and i barely know the shades to pick so it's okay we, we'll just work with it so i'm just dabbing in that concealer thoroughly and then after dabbing it in you do want to do a concealer that's about one or two shades lighter than your skin not four or five shades like me and then next we are applying just uh, a setting powder and I'm using the Black Opal setting powder and this setting powder will off offset the excessive, excessive brightness that was under my eyes. As you guys can see, although the lighting is kind of too harsh, but as you guys can see, it has offset that extremely light um, color. So you can do that in case your concealer is too light. You can just use a darker shade of um setting powder to offset that lightness and then now we are going to do our lips so we are almost through with this look as you guys can tell so i'm going in with a black pencil and i'm gonna repeat myself in each and every video that i do do not use a black pencil to line your lips if you're not going to thoroughly blend it so if you're going not going to thoroughly blend it i suggest to use a pencil closer to your skin tone which is like probably a brown yeah a brown pencil would be best but because i love blending i love to use a black pencil and then after blending i have gone in with two lipsticks as you guys saw one was a bit orangish and then we went in with this um maybelline superstay lipstick and this is the shade amazonian and then i'm going to go ahead and blend it again thoroughly and i think the only two steps that are remaining of course we have to put gloss we are in the era of glossy shiny lips so I'm going to use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss to create this glossy shiny lips effect. And that's the shade Crystal. And then afterwards, we are only remaining with, I believe, two steps to this look. And then we will look absolutely stunning. Yeah, then we're going to add some hair, of course. So I'm just going to apply the rest of that uh, Black Opal setting powder to the rest of my face. Um, all over my face i rarely contour my face i see people contouring their faces but you guys can tell i'm already chiseled some even say i look like a man yeah i have been called james charles on my lives a lot um not because i look like james charles but it was just insinuating that i do look like a man so basically i do have a chiseled face so i'm not gonna be contouring my face but definitely contour your face if you have a more rounded face yeah, or if you feel you need contour so basically this is the final look guys and need i say more let the look speak for itself people look at that stunning yeah so thank you so much guys if you're not yet subscribed make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in 